Ing Labor Day, an annual family fun tradition, returns to Omaha in just a few hours. The September Fest Parade is scheduled to kick off. 3 News Now reporter Shante Passmore shares what you could expect if you're headed downtown this year. Hey, Shante. Hey, happy Labor Day to everyone. Call it a salute to labor, right? Expect labor unions, businesses, marching bands, and more to walk in this year's parade. Now, organizers say more than 3,500 people are expected to walk today. If you look at your screens, you'll see the parade route starts at 16 and Cass and ends at 10th and Mike Fahey. There are other things to do, of course. Head to the CenturyLink Center for jam-packed fun like rides, games, food, music, and a car show. And despite us having unusual weather lately, it didn't stop people from heading out this weekend. It's good for all ages, so they have something for the little kids, and then there's also something for the adults as well, so and everything in between. I think everyone is happy in the end, despite the humidity. Mm. And speaking of weather, a lot of people might be wondering, yes, organizers say the parade will go on rain or shine. And Ryan, the parade starts at 10 this morning. I think people want to know if they're going to need to bring a lot more than just their chairs this year. Yeah, that's a concern because it looks like the rain chances are probably going to come up over the next couple of hours. So that is definitely something we're going to have to watch. Kind of plan on that, at least outside right now. We're looking at some light rain, some drizzle through the metro. The heaviest rain continues to be south of us. Temperatures look good. It's a little bit muggy out there, but I think we'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s through the morning. But you can see the icons. Again, we're talking, talking about shower and storm chances on and off really today and probably most of this week. Nothing looks to be a complete wash, although we have to watch for a flooding concern, especially from Sarpy County South. That flood watch does continue. And anyway, we will have more on that coming up in just a few minutes.